Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Volkswagen, guys. It could be any Volkswagen, such as Tiguan, Jetta, Golf, Passat, uh, Turek, doesn't matter what it is, guys. If you have check engine light on and code, uh, when you scan the system that relates to EVAP leak, emission leak, guys, evaporative emission leak, stay with us. We will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it, guys. There is one simple solution that most people never think about to check it's something super simple and they'll start putting money and more money in their engines uh, and they will try to fix things that are actually not broken so make sure to stand to the end and we'll explain the first thing that you need to check and also how the evaporative emission system works as well before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that simply because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for your volkswagen check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from and you can save yourself quite a bit of money by the way so we have that uh, volkswagen t1 with that uh, tsi gasoline engine you will have the evap leak codes only on gasoline engines diesels do not have that system due to the fact that diesel fuel does not evaporate and does not create pressure but gasoline when it heats up from temperature being hot outside uh, it creates pressure uh, it evaporates and uh, when it moves it evaporates as well so we have that system that's known as the EVA it catches the fuel vapors from the fuel tank instead of being released in the atmosphere they will be brought through that hose right here they will come to the purge control valve the computer will detect how much pressure you have in the fuel tank it will tell that fuel uh, uh, purge control valve to open the fuel vapors will be injected in the intake manifold burn through the engine and that way guys you just save the atmosphere we didn't pollute the atmosphere number two your car is efficient because you're not losing fuel in the form of fuel vapors through the fuel cap so uh, now if you have small evap leaks guys there is one thing that you need to check but things usually to look for check the hoses make sure they're not cracked uh, right here it could be cracked or where it goes in the intake manifold or you may have a stack open or leaking purge control valve we have a video that explains how to test it on our main youtube channel how to repair guys check it out but number one thing that i will check guys always okay when i have an evap leak always will be right here your fuel cap this is the fuel cap you can see simply right here and if you pay attention now when i remove that fuel cap okay i'll remove that fuel cap guys here that fuel cap consists of two elements one you have a valve inside that valve when uh, let's say the purge control valve the system fails that valve when it reaches certain pressure will release the fuel vapors in the atmosphere so your car practically does not explode but number two you have a seal that prevents okay vapors from running out and check this thing out okay ours is cracked the car has only 43,000 miles but ethanol gasoline with ethanol usually will dry those as well in some cases you may buy the seal only but i recommend to replace the whole cap uh, for instance we have a new one okay that we got for a really good price and overnight shipping right here and i'll put the link in the description of the video below okay uh, where you can get that one from usually your cap stays right here you can see so uh, that would be the number one thing our problem is right here and see it says tighten until one click okay or uh, check engine light uh, may turn on because fuel vapors will be leaking out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time